this is a pretty decent article so this is from resident advisor it's the following it's called what happened to tech house is a pretty cool 10 minute um story on the kind of origins of tech house you know where it kind of went wrong and what the future saw holds that entire scene and it's interesting and funny because it comes from ra who i would consume or who i would assume would be one of the main culprits as to why people have such a big issue with tech house and the scene in general right the kind of snobby i would say mostly berlin centric point of view that they come from um would mean that they would automatically not be a fan of the guys and girls that play in that scene because effectively they're in completely two different scenes right in general right especially when you, when you think about the clubs that they play at and the kind of people that go to different parties right you just compare people that go to like Grease Müller to somebody that would go to like a you know DC 10 they're probably not the same person whatsoever there's probably no overlap involved in there apart from they have them probably having the same color clothes in their wardrobe right loads of black maybe to some extent although some of those tech house people are kind of transitioning into wearing a lot of color and whatnot and it's a pretty decent um again a video a piece about the entire thing um it's a bit it's a little bit you know thin on the ground of course it's only 10 minutes so they can only get across so much information i do think they missed out an entire piece in terms of focusing around the kind of 93 feet east scene and all these sort of guys and girls especially in the uk all around the uk i think of that girl called alicia who i kind of followed for a bit on twitter and stuff and that entire scene of people who and michael bb's and all those kind of people who have kind of taken the tech house scene to a whole different level and part of me thinks a lot of the issues around it are mostly based on snobbery right mostly based on people feeling like they're better than them and feeling like they don't really represent dance music adequately i I think people view tech house community fans as similar to they would view people from the edm scene they kind of look down upon them and i don't really see the reason for it i think it can all coexist i don't think there is one particular way to enjoy or to consume or to make or to play dance music or electronic music in any way shape or form um the fact that these sort of scenes have kind of remained somewhat relevant throughout many many decades of changes in terms of the music industry and scenes and tastes and whatnot is testament as well to the great work that people are doing there they really kind of um again for the most part from what i've seen for the tech house community guys they really consume a lot of the content that revolves around this scene they go out to parties they buy tunes they're buying pieces of merch they're following people around in places when they're going on tour they're actually taking part in the scene you know in a very active way some work some would say maybe a more active way than some of the chin strokers online who only have things to say in comments or whatnot these guys are actually going out there and sort of like you know quote like for lack of a better term they're on the front lines right they're on the party front lines all kitted up um ready to party and I, you can't really blame the dudes in there for doing what they're doing and there is a funny interesting piece on there about like the origins and the originators of it kind of being press shy and then fast forward to nowadays um you know most of these guys are like you know selling courses on how to utilize social media in order to kind of boost your djing profile and all that malarkey and sell more tickets so it's a complete kind of evolution uh, and a completely different type of person that's kind of consuming that music again the i would say for the only critique about it i would say overall would be the songs are a bit formulaic the people playing are very formulaic even that leash yo she's got that whole like arms out wide thing that kind of really cringy sort of like gun finger pose stuff it's really big you know it's a bit too much for me loads of roll loads of kind of rolling effects on the mix and all that kind of stuff there is a particular way that they play that everyone's kind of got the same sort of style no one really sticks out too much the only kind of interesting era i can think of that whole tech house scene has to be when it was a bit more minimally and a little bit more dubby when you know um what they call jamie jones and seth chocolate guys were around right and they were doing their thing in that kind of vibe that was the only time i kind of enjoyed it but nowadays it does feel a little bit formulaic it is a bit samey same you can kind of you know close your eyes and you know basically identify where the drop's gonna come without um any really much work so that makes it a bit difficult but overall i i think they should be allowed to coexist um they are an integral part of the scene they i would argue that most clubs will probably say they are the ones that basically pay the rent for a lot of their um you know a lot of their venues around the world and you know pro provide a salary a stable salary for a lot of people they employ a whole host of people too um maybe some of the djs themselves are you know maybe not the most um uh, refined characters um they might not be the most uh enjoyable characters to hang around with on a day-to-day -day basis but I'm, I'm a fan of it i like it man i like to dip in and out of that scene and see stuff from afar um but again i recommend you check it out it's called what happened to tech house it's available on resident advisor a pretty decent um video i'll play a little bit of actually so you can see what i mean about it but this is the clip 
Tech House might be dance music's most divisive subject. The style is globally popular and indisputably big, but for years it's been dismissed as being functional, too commercial and formulaic. Those criticisms, however, usually fail to grasp the music's complicated history. The style is frequently misunderstood as being something like this. But for those who know about its origins, Tech House is actually something like this. So how did this confusion arise? If techno comes from Detroit and house comes from Chicago, where did tech house come from? And how did a sound that once epitomized the underground end up being so widely disrespected? So yeah, so check it out if you're that way inclined. Pretty decent.